Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Marcus Andre card to review today. So, we're taking a look at a card who is six foot tall, high medium work rates, right footed, five star skills with a four star weak foot. Uh, in regards to his in-game player traits, he does not have the finesse shot trait or the outside foot shot trait. 82 acceleration, 84 sprint speed is good because we will be giving him a hunter chemistry style to boost that acceleration and sprint speed up to a 92-94. Base card stats for shooting for a silver player is actually pretty solid as well because with the hunter chemistry style we'll be making his finishing a 96 with 94 shot power and 96 for volleys at 80 composure so definitely very interesting stuff there base card stats are passing also very good for a silver card too with 81 short passing and 77 long passing base card stats for dribbling we are going to be taking a look at in game um what is his body type okay so because he has the average body type and he has dribbling stats like that, I do feel like that is going to be something that you are going to notice in-game, obviously. But the fact that he does have the five-star skills to be able to dribble into certain areas, because that's kind of how the gameplay works nowadays, um, is not necessarily going to be uh, that bad of a thing. Uh, base card stats for heading accuracy is at an 85, which will definitely be very helpful with his six-foot height. And then with his six-foot height, Average body type, we're working with 70 for strength, 68 for aggression, at 80 stamina. So a card like this right? I do feel like you're going to notice that dribbling in game for sure. I want to try him up top in the striker position on balance instructions as well as getting behind instructions, right? We're going to do this right here. So we're going to switch these two here. Dalba will put in the middle for now. And then we will do Marcus on getting behind. So we're going to be trying him out on balance and getting behind. And uh, yeah, we'll see how he plays in game. We're going to be trying out Paulo Otavio at the same time. So yeah. Hey man, we'll take that on Marcus Andre. People sometimes make that mistake with the goalkeepers. They want to spam the, the replay. That's why I always press like L1, R1 just in case, you know, to skip. Oh, I thought he was going to score that. I was like, this guy just banged it into the back of the net. Huh. Could you imagine if I actually scored from that angle over there? That would have been crazy. Oh, he tried to go for that first time shot there. Oh, dude, I literally thought it completely eliminated my shot. Like, I did the command and it was just like, nope, not today. Oh, that would have been so dirty. Oh, that would have been so dirty. Oh, he was doing the thing, boys. He was doing the thing. Boy, that's a foul. Oh, my goodness. This game doesn't count fouls, boys. I don't know. Oh, I timed that right there, too. I did a skill move, and you guys can check my controller. It just completely disappeared, but made it work. Made it work. Let's see which uh, side I'm going to go. I'm going to go right side here. Oh, what a save of the goalkeeper. Oh, I just wanted to see if he can just bang a volley from there. Oh, that skill move registered after I got the ball. Am I going to get that one there? Nope. How are these not fouls? Like, yo, EA's not counting fouls nowadays. Like, what's going on? Oh, the goalie saves it. No shot. Touch. Bang. Touch again. Oh, Marcus. No. I will tell you guys this much right now. Like, you definitely have to work with his dribbling for sure. Because it's not like you're going to give him anything else. Like, you're not going to give him... A finish or anything like that, you know. It's just not gonna be, just not gonna be ideal, you know. Just I, I I'm, I, guys, I'm I, like, am I playing like a no, no challenge, game mode or something for my players to not get fouls here? Like, what's going on right now? Go, oh, please, thank you. He scored that one. I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm so confused.
<laughs> I got a penalty. I think I got a penalty for the challenge after he already got the ball. <laughs> oh, Marcus Andre. All right, we're going to go right side, and then this time we're going to go right down the middle. Yeah, there we go. Oh, too much power. What's unfortunate about that dink shot is that uh, that old chip is not... Uh, He's not like a looping one, you know? It's like a direct chip, if that makes sense. Looping ones are always super nice. Messi's really good at doing those. I'm pretty sure if I put less power into it, I score it, but... It's the way the chip comes off, you know? Oh, penalty again. Let's go. No, don't you dare. Don't dashboard on me, bro. Don't you ever do that to Bruno. Is it Bruno? It's not Bruno. It's Marcus. All right. Oh, fakery fakes. Oh, to the right, to the right. Oh, yes. Man of the match performance. Yes. I love it. Hey, man. At least he started off with the assist right there. That was like the pre-assist. Pre-assists are so underrated in football. Like, people never really pay attention to them. But it's obviously, like, really important. Oh! I thought he had some shot power behind that. That was pretty nice. I will tell you this right now, that his attacking AI, obviously it's a silver card, but it's definitely not special by any means. It's like pretty generic, you know? That touch right there from the first one, whoo, rough buddy. Oh, that strike was actually pretty solid. If I put less power into that, that would have been uh, that would have been a GG, my friend. Let's go, my boy. Let's go show them who's class. Obviously, this is not a card you would use against gold players. Yeah, the dribbling, like I said, you do have to work with for sure. I even tried a shot cancel there and then an instant dribble just to see how he would respond there. Wasn't great. We'll score that with Lucas. Garbage goal, but... Okay, guys. So, final verdict on this Marcus Andre card. So, this card is a really cool card when you're using him specifically in the silver gameplay objective. I wouldn't necessarily recommend using him against gold players, although you can obviously do work with him. Uh, with a card like this, we gave him the Hunter Chemistry Style. The dribbling you do have to work with if you end up using him with the Hunter Chemistry Style because of the fact that he has the average body type with those base card stats for dribbling. Now, with a card like this... You know, if you honestly don't care about the pace, which to be honest with you guys, I didn't really care too much about the pace on this card, I would personally give him a finisher chemistry style. Why would I give him a finisher? Finisher is because of the agility, balance, dribbling boost while giving him some finishing shot power and positioning boost. I would give him this card and literally play him in the cam position for a silver player because 82 acceleration, 84 sprint speed for a player that doesn't feel like he has like you know, really special attacking AI would be a ton of fun to use with some upgrades on his dribbling because of the five-star skills that he has. Now, again, if you use him in the striker position, you could totally give him the finisher chemistry style too, but you would be lacking in the pace department uh, to be able to pass the finish because unfortunately it's a really big thing in the game this year. But regardless, 
Would I give him a finisher? Probably. Does it make the most sense to use a hunter on him? 100%. You should... Like, if you're going to use this card, right? It doesn't make sense to give him a finisher. Like, you can to make it more usable because his attacking AI is not that special, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, having the acceleration at a plus 10 and then giving him the shooting boost uh, as well in the silver objectives, forcing the get and behind instruction out of him for you to get gameplay objective cards really quickly. It's definitely the most ideal situation. Because with a card like this, you could honestly line up in a 4-3-3 and link all three of the new silver cards uh, that EA released. So it's a cool card. It's it's a little bit rough to work with, but it is a silver dude, right? It's a silver card that you use for the silver objective. So I thought he was pretty cool. Five-star skills is always really fun to have with the four-star weak foot. So um, yeah, if you guys use him in the silver objectives, I'd recommend getting a nice little get him behind instruction or target man on him. So you can kind of use those five-star skills or that first-time touch to score those opportunities. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out dudes. Love you guys.